Hey Lauren, please make me some tea, please. Two sugars. Oh, and an odd day of grafting. Let's see what's on the telly. The weather tomorrow is looking really, really promising. It's approximately going to be about 30 degrees. Oh, one of the hottest days of the country. So be prepared days. for all those people out there. Hey, once, let him quick time put this on mute. Hey Lauren, here in the news, me and girls going to be sunny tomorrow. Reckon we should head to the beach or what are you thinking? Anyway, let's see what the update is on the old football. Hearing the old Jao Felix might be coming to the villa. Let's see what's funny, yeah? Breaking news. Jao Felix now set to leave Atletico Madrid and be heading to Chelsea. Stamford Bridge as the Samu deal has collapsed wait, as wait, part wait. of the Gallagher deal. Switch this off, mate. Jao Felix going to Chelsea. What am I hearing? I heard he's been to villa. Wait, 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 let me ring my old pal Steve. Let me see what he thinks about this. Alright, let me ring Steve. See what he makes of this. <phone rings> Hello Steve, how you doing mate, you okay? You alright pal? Yeah, not too bad. Uh, well, I am bad. You're not, seeing the, you're not seeing the news on the football? No. Joe Felix, he's been linked to Villa. Hearing he might be going to Chelsea now. You what? Yeah. Chelsea? Chelsea, mate. Some bloke called Samu. Samu, you heard of him? Samu? Yeah. Samu? Don't know who he is, mate, but apparently that deal fell through. And now Chelsea are after Jao Felix, mate. They've got about 100 players in their club and they still want him. How greedy. Are you taking the piss? Absolute disgrace, mate. Can't believe it. I wanted to imagine him blinking behind Ollie Watkins. Oh, man. Would have been great, mate, in that second striker role. Oh, I'm absolutely gutted, but... How's things, how's things, Steve? Everything good? Everything's been good now. You just you ruined my day, to be honest. Yeah, hey, it has, mate, man. Anyway, I'll catch you uh, next week. We've got West Ham. Massive game, mate. See you then. All right, pal. All right, mate. Bye-bye. <laughs> yes, yes, people. How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. And of course, people, I am back for another video. And you guys seen the skit. Dan the Villa fan ain't happy. And as well as Steve, yeah? Hey. This Jao Felix deal took a turn yesterday night. Imagine, yeah, I go on Twitter scrolling through and I see Jao Felix. He might be going Chelsea. Chelsea are discussing with George Mendes. I was absolutely gutted, heartbroken. Any word that describes sadness, people, I have to say, because you guys know how much I wanted. Jao the Dream Felix at Aston Villa Football Club. I was gutted, man. I was absolutely gutted. I'm a massive fan of Felix. When he is on his game, like he is one of my favourite players and him having, like the thought of having him at Aston Villa Football Club, that would have been the dream, absolute dream people. But listen, it looks like he may be going to Chelsea and let's talk about Chelsea, yeah? Chelsea Football Club. Yes, Chelsea fans might be coming for me now, but you see you guys, yeah? You see you guys letting this Samudio go uh, fall off, yeah? You're letting this Samudio go and now you're going after my boy Felix. I'm absolutely gutted, man. But anyway, guys, let's read this, man, from Fabrizio Romano, an exclusive, yeah? And he basically said Chelsea and Atletico Madrid are now discussing João Felix to Chelsea as part of Galiga deal. Samu deal collapsing and the two clubs don't want Galiga and Julian Alvarez deals to collapse too. Jao Felix being discussed with George Mendes in London people. Villa fans, it looks like it might be happening. It looks like it might be happening. All because this Samu deal has fallen through. All because these men made this deal collapse. Yeah, they made this deal go away. Now they have to get a player from Atletico Madrid in order for Atletico to get the Gallagher deal over the line and the Julian Alvarez deal over the line. So it's only going to be Jao Felix and I'm hearing it might be around 42 million. 42 million pounds, people. We sold the RB for big money. Big, big money. We could have used that money, yeah, and got in Jao Felix. We could have used that money and bought in Jao Felix. But no, man. Oh, man, I'm absolutely gutted, man. Like, <laughs> I'm gutted, bro. Like, the technical ability this guy got, bro. This, oh, man, he's an absolute baller. 
Well, like I said, it looks like he's going to Chelsea, man. Samuel Dio collapsed and yeah, man, he ain't looking too good for us. But there's a few Villa fans out there saying they didn't want him in the first place. For me, you guys know, I wanted him. And now, like I said, he ain't going to be happening this duel. So, listen, yeah, Villa, I've got one request. Please go out there and get in a marquee player. Bring me a player that is a bowler. Get me a top, top level signing. A Jao Felix level bowler. I don't know who it is, yeah. But Felix would have been perfect for us in that second striker role, yeah. That centre forward position just behind Ali Watkins. He would have absolutely cooked. Absolutely cooked. Getting into them little pockets. Receiving the ball in the half turn. Oh, man. This is why you shouldn't dream too much, man. This is why you shouldn't dream too much. It's the hope that kills you, yeah. It's the hope that kills you, man. But yeah, I don't know who's out there. But Villa, go out there and get me a bowler. A top, top level bowler. I don't know who it is, like I said. But yeah, man. That centre forward position as well. There's not many players out there that can play that role. As well as Felix. Like I'm talking about that level to that calibre. There's not many players apart from him. So yeah, man. Listen, Villa fans, I don't know. Alex Bainer, <coughs> he was a player that was being talked about. Will we go for him? I'm not too sure, man. I don't think we should go for a winger, though. Like, we had Moussa Diaby, he's a winger. We tried to put him in that second striker role, in that uh, centre-forward position behind Watkins. Didn't work out. So I don't think, personally, we should be going out for a winger. It don't suit our system. We need to go out there and sign a centre-forward, a floating number 10, man. We need to sign an attacker. Have to, man. We have to. Season starts next week as well. we got West Ham. Villa maybe thought if we kind of delay this deal, get it towards the end where Atletico are forced to sell him, then we'll get João Felix. But this circumstance came and now it looks like I said, he may be going to Chelsea, man. Chelsea, Chelsea, we got beef with you, man. We got beef with you, yeah? Absolutely got it. But yeah, like I said, people, man, I wanted him. I wanted him at the Villa. Well, let's swiftly move on. And Gatuda, Gatuda. There's talks about him. And let's just get this up. Let's get this up, people. And basically, uh, it's from Fabrizio Romano. And he said, Villa are advancing in the deal to sign Gatuda. Talks are still ongoing. Plus, Carlos will be key uh, for this deal to be getting done. So, Carlos, it looks like he has to leave. And then this Gatuda deal will happen. I've said it before and I'll say it again. That right back position. We need a star man there. Matty Cash, he never played the last game against, um, who was it, Dortmund. He never featured. He wasn't in the squad. So it'll be interesting to see. Will he move on? I'm not too sure. So, yeah, for me, Gatuda, if we get him, that's a quality, quality signing. And like I said, we need a player in that right back position. We've got Kostan Adalkovic. He's only young though. He's only 18 years old. Yeah, so he's, he's young. He's a young book. So if we get Gatuda, will be good man, so we'll have Gatuda there. Next to him we'll have uh, uh, an Ezri Kansa, Pau Torres and an Ian Matson. That looks solid, that looks very very solid. There's been people talking about Pau Torres, you know, some people saying that defensively he's been kind of weak. Yeah, he was fault for the goal uh, against Dortmund, could have done better there. But it's just one of them things, like on the board he's very very good. Defending wise, yeah, has to improve, but we'll have players like Anana where they can drop back Jacob Ramsey on the left hand side where they'll drop back and help out Ian Matson and Paul Torres as well so yeah man these Gatuda links we need it to happen Carlos goes to Fulham hopefully and yeah man we get Gatuda um, to Aston Villa Football Club but yeah listen overall like I said with the Jao Felix I'm absolutely gutted man like I said you guys know how much I wanted him I wanted him at the Villa I wanted him to absolutely cook in the Champions League but like I said people it looks like it ain't gonna happen, bro. It looks like it ain't gonna happen. But yeah, man, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, people. Like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, we'll be back soon for a season prediction video. We're gonna predict where the Villa boys may finish next season. Are we gonna go for another top four race? Another Champions League race? Let me know in the comments below. But yeah, people, stay tuned for that video. Let me know your thoughts on Jao Felix. Go to the links as well. Hopefully that gets done. Uh, yeah, man, people, let me know in the comments below. And like I said, like, comment, subscribe. I'm out. Up the villa.